marriage and you said it's a good thing, then I believe that you've called this young lady into this young man's life. And it's a good thing. And so many of us see it. Spirit of a living God, I ask you to fall afresh upon this day and upon this girl and upon this bride and upon this groom, God. We thank you so much that you created the, the beauty of marriage that we get to come together today to celebrate Christian and Celine in this union, God. Christian, we have been waiting for this day for so long, and we're finally here to become one in front of the Lord. I have been blessed with you, and I will honor you and God through this union for the rest of my life. You did not only show me what a man of God should be like, but the amazing grace of following Jesus. I, Celine, thank you, Christian, in front of the Lord, according to his law, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. I vow to follow your lead as my husband, to respect you, to serve you as your wife, take care of you, consult you, to stay faithful and honest to you and to this covenant. I love, I love you so much. <laughs> I love your sense of humor, your smile, your heart for Jesus, your selflessness, and how attractive you are. <laughs> I love you, handsome. Oh, man. Dude, I want to kiss you so bad. That is so bad. <laughs> Oh, man. Celine, when I first saw you, it was like my body was struck by lightning. You were then, and still are now, the most beautiful woman I've ever met inside and out. God wrote this beautiful story for the both of us, and right here today we choose to make the most important decision of our lives together. I used to watch all these movies on TV and think to myself about how nervous I would be making these promises to God and my future wife. However, now that I'm actually here, I realize this is the easiest decision I've ever had to make. I know God made you with me in mind. Everything I could have ever wanted in a wife, God delivered in you and then exceeded my expectations in every way. Today, I, Christian, take you, Selim, in the presence of God, our family and our friends to be my wife. I vow to love you loyally, faithfully, and unconditionally, to be with you in the good times and the bad. Whether we are rich or poor, whether we are sick or healthy, I promise to laugh with you and cry with you, to grow and to continue to mature with you, to cherish you and love you until death do us part. Selene, I love you with everything that I am, and I vow to put my everything into this marriage and to spend the rest of my life trying to love you how Christ loved the church. In the book of Proverbs, it says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. You are and forever will be the greatest blessing the Lord has placed in my life. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. We do want there to be joy in their home, but would you help them to grow more and more like you? Because that is the most beautiful thing that could ever happen. It's in your name. We. We approve of this, we're excited about this, and Jesus, we ask your blessing. Amen. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Christian Hernandez. Give it up, everybody. <laughs> There was no doubt in my mind that Christian would be an awesome husband one day. And I'd always known he had the biggest heart. I've been there for him during his highs and his lows, and I always prayed for him to find the girl of his dreams, the one who showed him the love that he deserved. But I'm so thankful and so blessed that he met a woman who was so kind-hearted and so patient, but with the pure love that you've showed my family, my brother and me, you've truly become one of my best friends. Chris and Celine, I love you both with all my heart. 
Now may everyone raise a glass and join in a toast for the love of the bride and the groom. Chris and Sally, I'm proud of both of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the life that you're encountering. I'm proud of the life that you're embarking on. Nothing is impossible if you have the right support and partner by your side, encouraging each other and loving each other in good and bad times. I want to leave you both with this piece of advice that was given to Mali and me when we first got married. Never go to sleep mad at each other. Know that no matter what, you know, you have to have a beat, you have to be a cheerleader in the corners of each other's life. Life is not easy. Take your time to experience life. In the end, we're a collection of memories. Make wonderful memories and love each other every day. For this blessing union, and may God continue to bless this marriage.